A CPU or central processing unit is the brain of a computer. It is a complex electronic circuit that executes instructions and processes data. The CPU is responsible for carrying out all of the basic instructions that make a computer work, such as running programs, opening files, and displaying images. The CPU is made up of several different components, including Arithmetic Logic Unit ALU the ALU performs arithmetic and logic operations such as addition, subtraction, and comparison. Control Unit CU the CU controls the flow of data between the CPU and other components of the computer. Registers Registers are small. High-speed storage areas that hold data that the CPU is currently working on. Cache Cache is a type of memory that stores frequently used data so that the CPU can access it quickly. The CPU is connected to the rest of the computer by a bus which is a set of wires that carries data and instructions. The CPU communicates with other components of the computer, such as the memory, storage, and input-output devices, through the bus. The speed of a CPU is measured in gigahertz, GHz, which is a measure of how many instructions the CPU can execute per second. A higher GHz rating means that the CPU is faster. The performance of a CPU is also affected by the number of cores it has. A core is a processing unit that can execute instructions independently of other cores. A multi-core CPU has multiple cores, which allows it to perform multiple tasks at the same time. The CPU is a critical component of any computer and its performance has a significant impact on the overall performance of the computer. A faster CPU will allow the computer to run programs more quickly and smoothly. Here are some of the factors to consider when choosing a CPU. Speed The speed of a CPU is measured in gigahertz, GHz. A higher gigahertz rating means that the CPU is faster. Number of cores a multi-core CPU has multiple cores, which allows it to perform multiple tasks. I hope this video has been informative and helpful. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos on computer hardware and other tech topics.